for those of you who don't live in Los Angeles and you never been to Los Angeles, they got this fucking uh they got this hot dog stand, okay, that evidently has the greatest hot dogs that you'll ever taste in your life. But every time you drive by there, there's literally I mean, I'm not joking, there's like eighty people in line. I went there when I first came out here the first week and I literally stood in line for like an hour for a hot dog. So I was like, well, that was fucking stupid. I'm never doing that again. And lo and behold, for some reason, I went to go pick up my uh, lovely girlfriend from work. And someone at work had mentioned to her about Pink's hot dogs. So she got a craving. And she was like, oh, my God. Can you take me to Pink's hot dogs? I, just, I don't know. Somebody mentioned it. I just want to. You know when girls get like that and they just look adorable and they deliberately act like they're like a little kid? And you just you just can't fucking resist it. So I'm like, all right, sweetie, I'll take you over to get you a hot dog. We pull up, and the line is like two and a half times longer than it usually is. It's literally wrapped all the way around this fucking tin shack, by the way. It's a tin shack. All right? It's on La Brea and Melrose. And I'm giving you guys some great advice. Don't ever fucking go there, all right? So I'm like, you know, I just laugh. I'm like, this is ridiculous. I'm, I'm like, you know what? It's the holidays. I didn't fly. I'm not sitting in an airport. I'll stand in this fucking line. Just to continue the, tradi- the tradition of me standing in fucking lines that I really don't need to be standing in around Christmas. So I stand in this fucking line. And this is the funny part. We get there, right? Standing in line. And there's these four Asian dudes in front of me. And we're standing there for 15 minutes. The line may be moved like six feet. So finally, one of the Asian dudes, you know, mumbles something in Cantonese or whatever the hell he was talking, and he fucking walks up to the front of the line, and he comes back, and, you know, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm not bilingual, and I certainly don't speak Chinese, but I know what this kid said in his honk, 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 fucking language. He just said, dude, you got to be shitting me. Fuck this. This is just hot dogs. It's not worth it. That's what he said in his language, and I, I, you know, I told him, and they, all the other three Asian dudes laughed, looked at each other, nodded, and made the smart move. They got the fuck out of the line. They got out of the line. And my dumb ass was like, oh, great, I get to move up another half foot. Stupid me, right? I stand in line for like another half hour. We're freezing our ass off to the point my girl has to go to the car. She gets to the car and somebody's writing us a $145 ticket because evidently it became a tow zone after 4 o'clock. So she starts freaking out, going, Oh, my God, we got to move the car. She's like, forget it, forget it. We'll just leave. And at this point, I'm stubborn. I'm like, no, fuck that. I got $145 tickets, God damn it. I'm at least going to get a fucking hot dog out of this. So I had to pull the car into the lot. I stand there for like another hour. An hour and a half, I'm finally turning the corner to get to the front of the tin shack for a fucking hot dog. I can't feel my toes. I'm jumping up and down. I'm doing a little ballistic fucking movement here, trying to keep the blood in the extremities of my body for a fucking hot dog. I'm already down 145 bucks, but I'm going to see this thing through. And just when I thought it couldn't get any worse... This is, we're right at the corner of La Brea and Melrose, so at every red light, people are just staring at us like we're in an exhibit of fucking idiots. Looking at us the exact way they should be looking at us, like, why would you stand in line for two hours? It's a fucking hot dog. You can buy packs of eight of them at the grocery store, take them home, grill them up, and, and, you, and you know, you, you don't even have to stand in What are you doing? So this lady basically rolls down the window. This alternative comedian-looking fucking twat sticks her head out the window and starts dripping with sarcasm. Goes, you guys standing in line for hot dogs? Right? Just dripping with sarcasm. There's nothing else, there's nothing else on that corner that we could be doing. Dripping with sarcasm in the fucking Democratic demographic of shitheads that were in the line do not hear the sarcasm and actually answer her question like she was being serious this this one guy's like yeah <laughs> so then she goes are they good just dripping with sarcasm and this other guy answers the question it's just the number one hot dog chain in the country 
And at that point, I just hung my head in defeat going, you know what? I fucking deserve this. I really want to get mad at that girl in the car, but I can't. I can't. She's absolutely right. She's actually trying to help us right now to let us know how fucking stupid it is, what we're doing. And I, I, just, I just hung my head, and I stood in fucking line. And I swear to God, I ended up getting up there, and I'm looking at the hot dogs. And you know what I forgot? They don't even toast the bun. They don't even toast the fucking bun. And you just they just stick it on there. And if you have cheese, they just sprinkle some cheese on it. You Chili, they just put chili on it. And then you go into the shack, and there's no heat, so you're still cold. And you eat basically a ballpark franc, and you stood in line for two hours. And, you know, I'm one of these fucking guys, man. It just, I swear to God, you know that fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. I, I, you literally fool me like nine times before I finally start picking up on it. And now I finally, I finally realized it. Okay. If you come out here to Los Angeles and, and, you know, and you ask people, Hey, what do you do out here? And somebody suggests to you, Oh, you got to go to pinks. You got to go to pinks and get a hot dog, man. They're the best fucking hot dogs. No, they say that shit. Just slowly draw your right. I mean, maybe, maybe your lefty, maybe your left hand. I don't know what draw it back. Overhand right, overhand left, right right into their mouth. Don't even hit their nose. Just put it right in their fucking mouth because this is what I'm trying to say. It's overrated. Okay? And those of you who aren't new to my podcast, I do underrated, overrated. That is my big overrated thing of the fucking week. All right? Pink's hot dogs in L.A. sucks a big bag of fucking elk dick. I've walked into fucking four-star restaurants and they've been like, I go, how long's the wait? Do you have a reservation? No. How long's the wait? It's going to be about 45 minutes. And I always look at the person I'm with and we go, you know what? Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. I don't give a shit if, if, if Mario Batali is cooking the meal. I'm not standing. I'm not here for 40. I'll go get a slice. I don't give a shit. And I stood in, in line for two hours for a goddamn hot dog and got a $145 ticket. 